when my three babies had just been born. Your abuelo Pedro and I were forced to flee our home. We could not escape the dangers. So Abuela does a wonderful job of sharing with Mirbel a little bit of her story. And your abuelo was lost. She gives it though that children's abridged version, which deals with a lot of the good parts and kind of softens up on the fact of losing Pedro. That's really important because you should never be sharing with children more than what they can actually handle. And if she had shared all of the horrors and the pain and the trauma that she went through, it would probably cause Mirabelle, especially with Mirabelle being more of the super feeler, that empathic caring person, she might overabsorb that. And at a young age, that can be really traumatic for her, where she would worry and spin and go through that secondary trauma from what Abuela went through. And so Abuela Abuela carries that all hidden inside of herself. Now, we're going to do something a little different. Usually when I go through a movie, we go through this sequentially, but I want to show right from the start a little bit more of an honest version of what Abuela went through, what she shares with Mirabelle at the end of this story, because I think that it's really important for us to be able to see the world through her eyes. And why is she so harsh? Why is she so guarded? Why is she always trying to show that she's strong and stoic? And I think that that has given her a disservice through a lot of the movie and why we're very harsh on Abuela when I don't know if it's really justified. I thought we would have a different life. Los oruquitas. First off, I just want to say that this is probably one of the most beautiful songs. I don't think that I'm alone in being like someone that cries every time that I hear it, so I've already got my tissue ready. Okay, so, um, watching Pedro uh, make that choice. Watching Pedro make that choice of knowing that in order to protect his family that he might have to sacrifice himself and um, giving that like kiss to his babies that he knows he may not have to see growing up and they share that moment where they know that they may not see each other again but he makes that choice because he wants to make sure that his family is safe and he does but like I can't even imagine what it would be like to have to go through that. And for Abuela to have to raise her children alone um, must be just so very hard. And that survivor's guilt of um, knowing that she gets to do this because he sacrificed his life. He loved them enough to sacrifice his life to make sure that they'd be safe. The people that were with them as well. Because I'm just going to cry all the way through now. I should have thought of this beforehand. And then to see Abuela like that pain of like knowing that she's alone and she has to go on and all of that fear and then she has this candle that symbolize this that symbolizes hope and continuation for her family and it's funny because you never see her emotional she's always so stoic and for her she's stoic for everyone else she tries to hold it together um, for everyone else in the family and you see abuela um, looking at all the other people, looking to her as the leader to help them continue. And the pressure that must be on her to be able to raise her, her family and also all the people that look up to her must be insurmountable, along with carrying all that guilt and pain and loss. It's a lot of pressure on one person. And so for Abuela, she really creates all of these defense mechanisms around her so that she can keep going on because if she gave in to the grief and the pain and the guilt that she might just crumble. She's the only one left for her children and she has to be both mother and father to her children and to the people that are following her. I think that's very symbolic when she goes through that door and she puts on her shawl and she's so stoic that she has to continue living for Pedro, for her family, um, and keep all of her grief boxed up so that it doesn't overflow and overtake her. Chance. 
and I was so afraid to lose it. Which was her family. And I wonder also if Abuela is much more cold at this point of her life and doesn't even look at her grandchildren when she walks by them because it was probably hard for her to give her heart again to people that she could lose. Sometimes we decide to kind of shell ourselves, wall ourselves from everyone else so that we don't have to deal with that pain of a loss. And so we're caring and loving, but it isn't the same thing because that loss is so very damaging to our psyche and our sense of self. One hour. So you hear when she speaks, her voice, it scares everyone else. You see Mirabelle's response, and you probably might have someone in your family that speaks, and it's that booming, really authoritative voice that kind of startles everyone else. They use that as a tool to be able to control people, but it can cause a lot of anxiety for everyone else that's around them. And for Abuela, I think that she does it to try to maintain control because she feels like if she doesn't continue controlling everything, that bad things will happen. And for her, looking backwards, we can understand why, because bad things did happen happen. And so because of that, you hold on to it so tightly because you just don't want something to hurt you again. And sometimes you lose sight of the fact that it might become you the thing that's causing trauma or stress in the family unknowingly. The whole town relies on our family. So the best way for some of us to help is to step aside. And here it's really showing exactly what Abuela said, that she lost sight of what this was all for. She's so busy trying to make sure that she doesn't let down the town and that her ceremony goes perfectly, that she's forgotten that you're here to make your family feel happy and loved and cared for. And she missed the beautiful gift that Mirabelle had offered her because she's so busy seeing the big picture. She's missed all the little pieces that are in play and are so important to make everyone else feel like they're contributing and loved and worthwhile. Beloved community, tonight we come together once more. You can see how she is this figurehead. She's the community leader and she takes that part with a lot of pride and takes it very seriously. Spends so much focus on that that sometimes she misses all the pieces of her family and making sure that they feel loved and cared about. Also, rituals are really important. It's important to make us feel like a tribe, to make us feel like a community to do things that we do together, it solidifies us. And I think that a lot of times in our modern culture, we forget about the importance of the rituals that we have, that we can look forward to, that we can spend time to be able to have joyous moments together. Because sometimes that's the only time when we do get together as groups is during these big occasions, which can be wonderful, but also can be stressful and really painful. Why? Because sometimes you're confronted with people you may not like or painful memories. For Mirabelle, this is really also hurtful because the last ceremony was hers and she didn't receive a gift. And I don't know if anyone in the family, and especially not Abuela, really understood how hard it is for her. when she looks at the door disappearing and right away she checks the candle. This is the first showing that this perfected miracle that she's relied so heavily on may be disappearing and it causes her a lot of fear. Fear because that might mean that her family may not be safe, the town may not be safe, this might be finite. And this scares her. It scares her so much that she misses the fact of this little girl that's also hurt. And you see Mirabelle looks to Abuela for comfort. That is this okay? Have I done something wrong? Is it me? And Abuela is so worried because she's gone through such hardship and such pain that her main fear, she doesn't even notice Mirabelle because her main fear is, oh my goodness, what does this mean for my family? for the miracle and for the townsfolk that rely so much on our strength. Seeing those little tiny cracks can cause us a massive amount of anxiety. The house is in danger! And the candle almost went out. Show me. And you see how Abuela, she's always stoic. She doesn't let her emotions get the best of her. She's doing everything she can to keep 
those under wraps because if she let them out, they would probably all come flowing out. And she has a job to make sure that she's the strong one. She's that foundation to make sure that everyone else feels calm and safe. But they're really just anxious because she's now become the thing that everyone fears. But she doesn't see it that way. So everyone thinks that she's okay and she's this stern, unloving, kind of harsh taskmaster when really she's just doing it to keep everyone safe and protected because she's so riddled with fear and anxiety. But she's really good at wearing that mask. Abuela. I promise that's enough. There is nothing wrong with La Casa Madrigal. And Abuela's really upset. She's upset because Mirabel caused panic because anxiety is contagious. You have someone that's shouting fire in a building full of people, everyone's gonna get scared. And her job that she's taken on is keeping everyone safe, secure, and feeling like nothing bad is gonna happen. She's gonna protect everyone. And she does know she's already heard from Bruno. She's already seen the facts of what could happen. And so she's trying to close her eyes to this and deny it. And I think that denial is something we're very good at lying to ourselves, so much so that we can even start to believe it. We cannot lose our home again. Help me protect our family. Abuela, when she's in pain and hardship, she talks to Pedro and she shares this only with herself. She doesn't have anyone else to rely on. I love that she doesn't choose to use her children as therapists because they shouldn't be, but these are no longer children. They're now adults, but she still shoulders all of her fears on her own own. And you can hear that pressure, that fear of not being able to lose her home, her safety again. She never wants to have to go through what she went through. And she definitely doesn't want her children to ever feel that pain and loss like she has. You do. What did you say to her? N nothing. I, I don't... Mirabel. And you see how Abuela, she does a lot of putting her fears upon other people. Other people are to blame. I think that for Abuela and for a lot of us, it's just so painful to think that we might be doing something wrong that it's easy to find the biggest scapegoat and place all of the blame upon them because it's so painful, so much pressure. And I don't think that she could handle anything more. She's just doing everything she can right now to hold it together. This is a woman who has lost everything, has had to raise a family all alone and a whole group of townsfolk. She's just doing everything, like spinning a whole bunch of plates on sticks and there's just constantly more plates and more sticks and I don't think that she can carry anything more. almost a gift in her having to lose the things that she was holding on so tightly to so that she could come to the realization of what is really important. Sometimes we've been trying to control everything so much and control is an illusion. The things that you're trying to control end up controlling you. She thought that it was the house that was keeping them all safe, that it was their gifts that gave them power, but really it was their family, it was the love, it was being a community that gave them all strength. And I think that the beauty of Abuela realizing that is what allowed her to let go of these false things that she's been holding on to and really see her role is to love and care for her family and that they all can carry a part. She doesn't have to do it alone. I am so sorry. You never hurt our family, Mirabel. I love her apology. It's so beautiful what she gave to Mirabel, and I think that Mirabel could really see her and hear it. Brunito. Bruno's was also really beautiful. That moment of her really showing and holding his hand and giving that kiss and bringing him back to the family herself. These are the things that show that she does love and she does care and she just been she's able to let go of all of these walls that she carried in front of herself so that they could show and she could love and embrace her family as the most important thing that she doesn't always have to be stoic and pretend to be cold to keep her and her family safe <laughs>
and make sure you check out my whole series of videos, all ad-free, sponsor-free on Nebula, including my first exclusive special on the animation of Arcane and why this unique style creates such an intense emotional connection. I'll also have more exclusive videos available only on Nebula, where I have the luxury of making videos that don't have to be optimized for YouTube. And these are all ad-free, sponsor-free on Nebula, bundled in for free when you sign up with today's sponsor at curiositystream.com slash georgiadow, or click the link below. And right now, because you're watching this video, you get Curiosity Stream on sale for 26% off. That's less than $15 for the whole year, the price of a large pizza. And it includes thousands of amazing documentaries and series like, I picked a strange one, Super Slime. <laughs> Slime's a funny thing. It's weird and it's wonderful and it's much more beneficial than you would probably realize. It can help salamanders stay wet so they can breathe through their skin, provide a life-supporting bubble, and and help developing frogs and even snails get from point A to point B. And this is the best way to support educational creators directly. You get the best deal in streaming today for 26% off Curiosity Stream, less than $15 a year, and Nebula bundled in for free. Yes, free. Just click on the link or go to curiositystream.com slash Georgia Dow. Clicking on the link really does help out this channel. So does watching the playlist right here, where I go even deeper into psychology and what drives us and deal with a whole bunch of different reaction videos. So give it a watch and I'll see you in the next video.